Hello gamers, I am Tigwick and tonight I'm going to show you how to use StreamJar to improve your Beam.Pro stream. It'll make things a little bit more um, interactive, dynamic, etc. because you'll have these cool um, uh, pop-ups that come in via an overlay and I'm going to show you how to get into that right now. It's pretty straightforward. You'll want to go to StreamJar.TV here in a web browser and you'll have to sign up and uh, once you sign up, it kind of walks you through the process of linking your, your Beam account and you got the authentication you have to do and all that stuff. Once you've done all those things, you simply land on the website here, you click manage, and you get uh, dropped into your, your own sort of management portal here where you can uh, you can accept tips and configure your tip page. Uh, we're gonna bypass all this and go straight to the overlay. The overlay on your Beam.pro stream or even on your Twitch stream or any stream you're really doing, the overlay is what makes those fantastic cool things slide in when people follow you or like, um, you know, dissolve in, or maybe they run in if you have little animations happening or something, and maybe some sound plays and all these things happen, and people experience it with you. When somebody follows you, the, the, the stream, the audience, the, your community all celebrates with you. It's kind of fun, right? So this is where you do all that. The default things are starting with things like notifications. Um, so if you drag a notification object on the screen, it kind of looks like this to start with. I've changed mine. This is my other one up here that I use. But if I was going to put this somewhere, say I have it uh, pop up down here in the bottom corner, I can uh, I can right click on it. I can go to the settings. I can I can change why this will pop up. So if I don't want it to pop up for tips, I untick tips. I untips uh, untick follow uh, subscribers subscribers blah 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 uh, hosts and follows. Now I'm not partnered, so I couldn't have subscribers anyway. If I had Twitch and Hitbox, I would turn those on, but I don't, so I'm just going to leave them off. Um, this one's kind of fun. You can actually turn on the new experimental rain emoticon. So when it happens, uh, whenever anybody subs, if I was actually uh, a partner, it rains all these cool emoticons, all your beam um, um, emotes that you get as a, as, a, as a partner. It rains them all across the screen in this really fun little animation that happens. It's pretty neat. I'm going to turn on the tweets, the hosts, and the follows. Those are the things I want. Uh, maybe the tips too, in case I get a tip. Who knows, right? Configure background color, text color, font you want, uh, whether you want it to be avatar and text or just text only. Um, if it is an avatar, I think it attempts to show the avatar of the person. Uh, can, you can remove the drop shadow, uh, add some sounds for the tip, the follow, subscribe, all this stuff here. Add an image uh, for the various ones, and if you want it to have transparency, you can do all that here just by making sure you have the right image, and then donations, like uh, how much it has to be in order to actually even have it show up. So once you're done, you save that, and again, wherever this goes is where it's going to pop up um, on your on your screen. So this window is a 920 by 1080 p by 1080 window, 920 1920 by 1080, uh, and that you can see down here. And that means that it basically will fit a 1920 by uh, 1080 uh, OBS screen or any variation of so uh, 720 or any of the of those uh, uh, 16 by 9 ratios. And it means that things will probably actually happen in the correct location. So as long as this fits your um, your screen size, then you know this one will actually come in on the bottoms, like right around this area of my screen. This whole part down here is where this might come in. And the chat, which I think is this overlay here, which you can't really see, but it's outlined, would kind of happen in this area over here of my screen for my viewers. That's what it would look like. Um, that's the most basic way to set up StreamJar when it comes to um, the notifications. You can also put various, uh, you know, you can actually put arbitrary text around wherever you'd like, a text box, or the banner I have here at the bottom. I'm actually going to reconfigure this banner really quickly. And uh, I was going to change the latest followers. I want them to, there we go, scroll across, that's what I wanted. There we go. So there we go, I actually made a change already. That's how easy it was to make a change there. Uh, if you wanted to have other stuff, I'm actually gonna delete that one because I already have one up here. If you wanted to add other stuff, you can add songs, a goal, if you can have one of those um, those goal tracking bars that, that shows what you're trying to accomplish, you can throw one of those on the screen. There it is, there's my $1 first donation goal that I want and viewers would then see that in the top corner of my screen. It wouldn't impede anything that I'm doing, but for them it would be in that top corner of my screen. It's, it's what you're doing by putting it in the top corner of the screen here. And so basically when you're done adding all of your various uh, widgets and doodly dads to your stream jar overlay, you click on uh, the scene that you're on here, you click on copy URL. That's me clicking on that. I'll drag my OBS over here and we're gonna get really funky, as you can see, into the weird land of OBS in there. Um, somewhere in here, oh, I don't have one, but I'll add one. We'll add a browser source. We'll make a new one for testing StreamJar. 
and it asks you for a URL. So you paste in the URL you got from StreamJar, and you change this to 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. And the CSS here, you do not want to mess with. It basically just makes sure that what you're getting from, the source you're getting it from, has transparency and doesn't have weird HTML stuff going on that makes it not look professional on the screen. This basically does the best they can to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, so don't mess with it. Hit OK, and you will get your overlay and I have to put it in the right place here but there's me dragging into the right place and voila now we know the overlay works because the uh, the banner is here the banner wouldn't normally be here in one of these YouTube videos because nothing actually happens live in these YouTube videos for you to see but this is this is proving this banner you can see down at the bottom of the screen proves that this is working so that's as easy as it was I just sent this this object here this um, testing stream jar uh, browser source to 1920 by 1080 left everything else alone plugged in the URL and now if I had a follow happen while you were watching this I wonder if I can do a test um, can I maybe do a test Yes, we can. Okay, let's do a test follower. I don't know what happens. Did that happen? Oh yeah, there it goes. Test follower followed the channel. Okay, so it was very, very bright and or and yellow because uh, you can't see anything there. But what if I do a host or a tip? Let's do a tip. Get that off the screen. There you go. Test tipper tip ten bucks. Blah blah blah. It's tip percent all overlays powered by Streamjar. So. Um, that is what would happen on your stream. People would actually see that. And the follower, I mean, that's because mine looks hideous here, but the follower stuff you'd see too. Uh, if I had, you know, actual, you know, uh, something behind there instead of a, uh, a background color of transparent or something, you would, you know, you'd actually see it, but uh, you don't for now. So uh, that's the, kind of the basics of getting your overlay set up with StreamJar. I hope that this has been informative. You can have multiple stream jar scenes if you want to have different overlays for different scenes in uh, in uh, OBS. Instead of having to kind of configure all your different scenes in OBS, you can configure everything here and simply point OBS at a different browser source uh, with a different URL and not have to worry about dragging a bunch of stuff around in OBS uh, to make it look, you know, different. So, yeah. If there's anything else you guys would like to know about how to use StreamJar or just uh, OBS or Beam.pro streaming or any kind of really that kind of stuff in general, I would happily, I will happily answer questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.